Not only are you stuck in traffic longer because of all the construction, for a lot of drivers driving through construction zones and leaving them stuck on the side of the road uh, with flat tires can be an issue. Yeah, huge problem. Mm -hmm. Not what you want to wake up to. And Brightside Twilon Wind tells us if you stick someone else, well, can you stick someone else with your bill for that flat, Twilon? Good morning, Rob and Caitlin. Of course, we would love to make somebody else pay for our mistakes or our car troubles because if you drive through a construction zone just like this one on Gandhi and you get a flat, it can get pretty expensive to fix it. Now, patching a tire can cost around $30 and then replacing the whole tire can run you more than 100. Your first call may be your insurance company, but they probably won't pay for just a tire unless it damages the rim too. Paying the cost of your deductible may not be worth covering the cost of that tire either. Let's say you pick up a nail in some kind of construction zone. The chances of that construction company paying for your flat is pretty slim. Oftentimes it just comes under the, um, the goodwill of the construction site themselves and the construction uh, company themselves. Um, but it might be really challenging to prove that, you know, the nail that you picked up is from their site versus someplace else. Um, at the end of the day, if you run over a nail in your tire, it's more than likely going to be on you to pick up the tab. According to Florida law, contractors are responsible for construction related property damage, but you have to be able to provide proof like pictures, timestamps or a police report. Now, the best advice we can give you right now is one, get inside and cover from the rain Two, check your tires regularly to make sure there are no nails or screws stuck in there because a patch is much less expensive than replacing the whole thing.